ABC is a right angle triangle with right angle at B. If the semicircle on AB with AB as diameter encloses an area of 81 centimeter squared and the semicircle on BC with BC as diameter encloses an area of 36 centimeter squared, then the area of the semicircle on AC with AC as diameter will be what? So let's let's try it out. I think we have to draw the figure carefully as usual. ABC is a right angle triangle with right angle at B. So let's draw a right angle triangle ABC. Right angle at B. So let's say this is A, B and C. Right. So right angle at B. This is 90 degrees. Again, right angle triangle shows that the Pythagoras theorem holds true. So AC squared. The immediate reaction should be AC squared is equal to AB squared plus BC squared. You need not write this on paper, but you got to understand that this is applicable, right? AC squared equals to AB squared plus BC squared. Now read the next point here. If the semicircle on AB, semicircle on AB, see this is the side AB. If the semicircle on AB with AB as diameter, so you consider AB as the diameter and draw a semicircle. So how will it look like? Something like this. Yeah, this semicircle on AB with AB as diameter encloses an area of 81 centimeter square. So this is 81 centimeter square. This area is 81 centimeter square. And the semicircle on BC with BC as diameter. Semicircle on BC with BC as diameter. I think I'm going to run short of space here, but I mean space to draw the semicircle, but it's like this, right? Semicircle on BC with BC as diameter. So consider BC as diameter and draw a semicircle on BC. This semicircle, yeah? BC semicircle. Encloses an area of 36 centimeter square. So this is 36. Then the area of the semicircle on AC, semicircle on AC with AC as diameter. So what will be the area of the semicircle? AC is the question. Yeah. Semicircle AC here. What will be the area of the semicircle? AC is the question. Okay. What will be the area of the semicircle? So what do we do? I think let's let's use this uh, identity, right? I mean, we know that AC square equals to AB square plus BC square. AC squared equals to AB squared plus BC squared. Look at it. All AC, AB and BC are the diameters. AB is a diameter. BC is the diameter. And AC is also diameter. Yeah. Uh, so so if, if, if you consider a diameter, like let's say the diameter is D, what is area of a circle? Area of a circle will be equal to pi D square by 4. Pi D square by 4, right? Area of a circle is pi D square by 4, where D is the diameter. And we have observed that all these three are diameters, right? AC, AB, BC are all diameters. Yeah. So what we'll do is multiply this whole equation with pi by 4. Multiply by pi by 4. See what happens. So we get pi by 4 times of AC square equals to, this is pi by 4 times of, uh, You know, AB squared plus pi by 4 times of BC squared. Yeah. There's the area of the circle. You're getting it? I mean, circle which is where, where AC is the diameter. Uh, circle where BC is the diameter. Area will be pi by 4 AB squared, right? So for the full circle, the area is going to be this, right? When BC is the diameter. So when you consider the full circle, the area is going to be 5 by 4 BC square. But here we are talking about semicircles. Be careful. Semicircle, right? It's not a it's not a full circle, it's a semicircle, half of a circle, semicircle. Yeah, all these are semicircles. So for the circle, the area is pi d square by 4. But for the semicircle, the area is how much? Uh you know, for the semicircle, this is area of circle. Area for circle. Area for semicircle will be area of semicircle. Will be how much? Uh, pi d square by 8 basically. So I think we should have multiplied by 8. I mean multiplied by pi by 8. Yeah. So multiply by 8. See we are trying to get the right equation. Multiply by 8. That's it. So I know that the area of the semicircle is equal to pi ac squared by 8. Pi ac squared by 8. Because area of the circle with ac as the diameter is pi ac squared by 4. Semicircle will be half of that. So pi ac squared by 8. So this is what is required actually. Will be equal to this component. Now look at this. This is area of the semicircle. Area of the semicircle with AB as the diameter, which is equal to 81 plus this component. This is area of the semicircle with BC as the diameter, which is given as 36. Done. 81 plus 36, 170 is the final answer. So option 1, 117 centimeter square is the answer. Option 1, 117 centimeter square will be the answer. 
You're getting it. It's all about considering this standard Pythagoras theorem on the triangle and multiplying it by pi by 8, right? Pi by 8 because we are considering semicircles. Yeah. Similarly, if he's talking about let's say circles, then you have to multiply by pi by 4 only. Anyway, the answer will be sum of the two values. So, so if you really want a shortcut for this one, see, now that you have solved this question once, you don't have to do all this drama in the exam, right? I think in the exam, without putting pen on paper, if you remember the concept, you will say that answer is 81 plus 36. Simple. Because, you know, that's what will give us the final result. When he is asking us to find out the area of the semicircle formed on the pipe, formed on the hypotenuse. You have to be careful, right? Area of the semicircle formed on the hypotenuse. AC is the hypotenuse. So for the hypotenuse, it should be the area of the other two sides. It, it can be given the other way in the exam. Like for example, he may say that this is 117 on AC, on BC it is 36. He may ask you on AC, AB. In that case, don't add 117 and 36. You will go wrong. You understand? In that case, when he is asking us to find out AB, you should realize that AC is the hypotenuse. So this hypotenuse semicircle will be some of the other two semicircles. So this semicircle will be hypotenuse minus this one, 117 minus 36, 81. So question can be framed in a different way. Don't, don't consider the shortcut to be simply the sum of the two values. The shortcut is not sum of the two values. The shortcut is the semicircle's area on the hypotenuse will be the sum of the other two areas, sum of the other two semicircles. Huh? So, so be clear, even if you try to take it as a shortcut, be very clear, right? Just don't uh, blindly assume that it is always a sum. All right. So 117 option one is the answer to this question. Maybe, you know, just think about it once again, try it out once again yourself and you should be very clear with the concept. And in the exam, you should be solving this in about three to five seconds. You have to learn that shortcut if you want to save time in the exam on geometry questions.